The last two games, you in particular, have been really good with the solo tackles and, and making stops. Where have you seen areas of growth in your game? Um, just trying to make my play any way I can. Uh, just trying to help the team. Basically, just trying to build up to that leadership pro, uh, leadership that I have on the team and just trying to, trying to be a guy for the rest of my teammates to make sure I'm uh, dependable. How has it been, you know, with, with Kanai being there beside you instead of EA? Do you, do you take on more responsibility with the calls or anything? Or what, what's kind of different when you have him there versus, you know, EA had been there for the first, you know, six games? Uh, nothing really different, man. I mean, we, when EA was there, we always communicated. When Kanai was there, we still communicate, and we give each other chips. So I mean, it's always a give or take. I mean, I couldn't. EA and Kanai, you can you can switch them out anytime. I mean, you can't really tell one is the other. So yeah, they're both playmakers and both try to get to the ball and both down the hitter, so I you can't blame them. With Oregon coming in, obviously their offensive line is something everyone's talked about this season. What do you see from their offense that you guys have to have to stop? Uh I mean they're gonna try to run the ball, so we just gotta try to run and just try to eliminate uh big uh, big yards on the first down, the first and second down and try to get a get them in third and long, third and uh, medium. So that's probably the goal. What do they do special in the run game? Uh, I mean, try to just pound the ball down your throat, trying to with their different runs and uh, use the tight ends, a lot of little eye candy and everything like that. So they try to just mix it up. Do you see them potentially using a lot of double teams on the guys in front of you and you know, kind of making it a one-on-one matchup with you? Because that's something Notre Dame did a little bit and it's maybe a similar power type of run. Uh, watching that film, they kind of they are a double team team, but we'll see how they come out against us. And, and when you're facing a team that wants to run the ball like that, but they have a special quarterback at the same time, how difficult does that make it as a defender? Uh, I just make it a multi-dimensional uh, offense, so you guys be aware. Uh, know your keys, different formations they like to do, different things, different players. Just got to just uh, be more in film, so you get more film study down on them. From watching them, you know, I see a lot of screen game. You know, and they're really successful with that. Uh, how do you guys slow that down? That was something that bothered you early in the season, but you guys have really kind of picked that up uh, the last few games. Uh, just everybody keeping their eyes right. Just uh, trying to just, again watch film, make sure you see some indicators that you see some more film, and just trying to trying to be ahead of the ahead of the game when you when it's on the field. You see that uh, what, the Pro Football Focus has you the top rated linebacker in the Pac-12 the last two weeks. Say. So, did you see that? Yeah, I said, yeah. What, what do you think when you see something like uh, that? I mean, I love it, man, but uh, I feel like we still got to get better at the whole defense, and I still my game still has to go up to another level. So I'm, I'm still not satisfied and always trying to get to another level. What do you have to do to get uh, there? Make my plays when they come to me. Uh, I mean, try to make every play as possible. I'm trying to just be more of a uh, ball hawk when it comes to tackles or all around the ball and running across the field. Trying to get more interceptions, more sacks, trying to uh, do more I can for the same thing. What does this team have to do to get more interceptions as a group? Uh, I feel like these guys just be as more players than one. You know what I'm saying? Come out there and do our job and focus on our job. And when our plays come, we have to make them. What's unique about Justin Herbert? Uh, I mean, he can throw the ball, got a great arm, uh, great size on him. And uh, I mean, he still can run at the same, uh, end of the day. So he can do, he'd be a dual threat quarterback. So he's got all his keys on him. Been without him for a few weeks, but if you guys get Christian back this week, how do you, how do you think that's going to help you guys? Oh, uh, that's going to be a big help. I mean, Christian's a big part of his defense, uh, defensive leader, defensive captain. So, I mean, being out, out there with a little bit more vocal leader is trying to communicate with us and also guys all over the ball that can run sideline to sideline, which is always great. He said it's been a little frustrating for him having to deal with just this nagging injury, especially his senior year. Uh, how have you seen him handle that and you know, still try to help the team? Uh, I mean, when he first heard it, he, tried, he still tried to come out here and practice and do what he can, go to rehab as much as he can. I mean, he still he played on it on a hurt ankle and a shoulder. So, I mean, he, he did his thing. So, I mean, also he can ask for a person that's trying to fight for his team and just fight for his uh, teammates. The numbers against Colorado probably aren't what you guys would like to see, but what do you take from the way you guys as a defense uh, ended up? Uh, I would say uh, second half adjustment, coming out there and just trying to uh, be more focused on trying to stop the run and uh, getting off the field on third downs and just trying to do our job.